The Associated Press Images collection is provided through EBSCOhost. Now, EBSCOhost provides a large number of databases, and they all provide the same searchable interface. In this case, we have three search boxes we can type our search terms into. We have a way of narrowing those search terms by focusing where we search for that information. So if I know the photographer, I can limit just to photographer, put their name in the line, subject, title, etc. Down below, we have additional search options. So we could say uh, arrived within uh, the last seven days, three days, all the days. You can limit to domestic or international, particular topics like sports, which is, is uh, often very a popular search. And then we can search by whether it's a photo, audio, print, graphic, et cetera. I usually don't limit to this area at any point uh, when I begin. I just want to see what is out there and available. If I need to limit after I do my initial search, I can always do that. So let's look up bird banding. Do that as a general search. And I see I have 28 results, which is not too bad. It's a nice little focused search here. I can narrow by date. In this case, it goes back to 2009 to 2019 for this particular topic. Those dates will vary depending on your topic. And in this case, the first result I have is a news item. You will have a mixture of some news articles and some of the images that we're looking for. In this case, I see that I have bird banding. I have an image as number three in my list of results. And I have the full text of the article down below. It's been tagged with the subjects birds, animals, environment, and nature. And I'm going to click on the title just to show you that you can get a little bit more information about this image. In this case, you have a larger image to look at. You can, to the right, you can print, email, or save, or you can cite this image. And that's something that's very helpful with this database. Citing images can be a bit treacherous at times because you need to know the uh, photographer. In this case, uh, the photographer is listed as part of the description. And you may need to know the date it was taken, et cetera, depending on which type of format you're using. In this database, we can just click on the Cite button. It provides a variety of formats, including uh, APA and has MLA. You may need to tweak these, depending on the information that's needed for your particular citation. For instance, in this case, they put the first name then last instead of last name comma first. So you'll want to tweak that a little bit. But the nice thing is you have that option. You can always come in here and search for additional search terms. You can go back to your list of results. You can scroll down for more images to use. Here's a nice collection of uh, two different images from the same article. This is taken in San Francisco, California, it's back in 2012. The exact same article is linked to these two images. But let's say I want one that shows a little bit more about how the birds are actually banded. Here I see the banding uh, mechanism used to put a bracelet around the leg of this bird. And I might be uh, interested in using that for a presentation. Just like with any other EBSCO database, you have the option of adding things to a folder. So to the right, I can add in the images that I'm curious about including in my search results. And at the end of my searching, I can come up to the top click on the folder, and anything that I've added to that folder will be listed in my, uh, will be listed in my folder. So in this case, I can select them all, and I can print them all or email them all to myself. When I email, it should provide the citation for each of the items as well. If you have any questions on how to search this AP Images collection, don't hesitate to reach out to a librarian. We're here to help. Take care.